Hey guys, what is up? It's Shinoki here with another Fishing Planet video, and today the Sport DLC came out. Fishing Planet just updated today, uh, May 27th, and there's a lot of cool new things that if you want to buy the DLC, you can now buy, and even stuff in the store. There are really like three things that drastically changed. Uh, you now have a reel that can handle over 30 pound line. And if we go to the store here, you'll see that you now have barbless uh, jig heads, spoons, and spinners. Still waiting on those spinner bits and poppers. I really want poppers. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think there's really anything super new other than that. I mean, uh, I just bought the DLC. You can get it in a pack for all six for $14. But you have some uh, some new rods that came in, new rods and new reels. Uh, maybe they're just DLC. We'll do new. Okay. We'll check real quick and we'll see. Alright, so as of right now, they're just DLC. And I'll show them to you real quick. It's the uh, Sport DLC that Fishing Planet has just released. This is actually the one I'm using right now. It's a Galaxy Cast 8.6 Sport with a Cyclone 6500 Sport. Uh, these are actual rods, I believe. Yeah, yeah, they are both a rod and reel, but they're just sport versions. And as you can see, this thing has an insane max drag, and this thing has an insane line weight with a moderate action. So you get a really good rod bend out of it, and you can pull in much bigger fish. And you get uh, a couple crankbaits out of it, and some fast jigs in the DLC. You also get some, uh, some hooks and such. Uh, nothing really special. You get a shitload of credits, which is pretty awesome. I've actually, uh, I did not mean to put all that <laughs> there. Uh, I'll show you the rods and reels. Like, here's your Farcaster 8.6 Sport, uh, Featherlight 6.3 Sport, uh, Aurora 8.2 Sport. They're all Sport. And now, everything that was a DLC item is now marked with Special Edition. So, that's how you know. You know, you have something different than, you know, like a Jester 5.7. Uh, here's the reels, Callisto MG3000, uh, which is kind of, I mean, it's like a moderate bass rod for the most point. You see the Esper double punches from the Heavy Bobber DLC. Here you go, your Esper Slim 1500, which is more your uh, panfish type deal. The Prima isn't much different from the, uh, the Callisto MG3000. You get your... Helios 2000 S Sport, which is just the smaller version of this, basically. Uh, and I believe I actually have... I've got a Helios. Or I had one. Actually, I think I have it on a rod right now. Yep, there it is. That's um, the Helios 2000P, so it's not the Sport version. Uh, you get... I know I got at least one 23-foot crankbait out of it. But you also get the uh, barbless jig heads now and barbless hooks and what what those will do for you if I can find them in my uh, inventory real quick what the barbless stuff will do for you is you now yeah they're over here able to if you look in your description it'll say it'll punch right through a uh, uh, brush and such just brush stuff like that and uh, basically what that's made for actually we can put that in my back I didn't even realize I had that what that's good for is you can now uh you can use that to not get hung up as much. So it'll be really helpful for uh, bass fishing and you know, the, the really tight stuff. Uh, we got some five inch worms. We'll go ahead and load those up. And I'll throw those two one inch craws. I love fishing with craws uh, in real life. Those are actually really awesome baits. Where I'm going, I'm definitely going to need bass jigs, but I'm, I'm not going to need any of this stuff. Uh, more or less, just going to show you guys the. Uh, the heavy stuff. Uh, I'm going to be showing you this 6500 Sport uh, with a crankbait, catching striper and smallmouth in California. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you don't hate me. Uh, and we'll take. If I had a bigger barbless jig head, I'd probably take it with me. I'm going to go to the store real quick, and I'm going to get some more uh, jig heads. Alright, so it looks like the biggest jig head you can get is an ounce and a half. So I'll definitely, uh. Oh, I 
can't buy them. Why not? Doesn't make sense. Oh, it's a level 20. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Uh, actually, actually, no. They have two bouncers here. Okay. So that'll be pretty helpful, actually. I hope, uh, this can handle a two and a tenth ounce. So I really would prefer to have, like, an ounce and a half. Let's see if we can get one of those. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the ounce and five sevenths and the one and a half ounces. And those should be in the backpack now. Yep, there we go. So I'll actually set up one of my other rods here, since I, I've got plenty of stuff to fish with. Uh, let's replace that with the... Yeah, let's go with a Farcaster 86. What? Oh, uh, that's a casting rod. I'm sorry. Aurora? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Which has a uh, line weight 3 to 10 pounds. I'm not sure I want to use that now. Looks like the... Nero 1210 Sport, that's just a straight up uh, casting rod. So you've got a Featherlight 6.3 Sport, that looks like it's more of your, uh, yeah, that's definitely your ultralight type deal. So we'll throw that one on there, and we'll go with the Prima 2500 Sport. We're going to change up our line to some 8 pound mono. Actually, the heck with that. I know I have fluoro. So let's put some 10 pound fluorocarbon on there. That'll work just fine. We'll set that up with a, uh... Ah, we'll keep the bass jig on there. So let's get on to California. And for anybody who's watched my videos before, please stop asking what I'm doing with the bottle. I'm spitting into it. I chew tobacco and, uh... I'm just spitting in the bottle. That's all I'm doing. I actually want to put a bigger crankbait on here. These 30 footers that weigh a little more. And uh, earlier I was actually catching fish on this Smokey, uh, which was pretty cool. I mean, I, I, don't, uh, I don't fish in California much, but you know, I like striped bass. I fish for them in real life, so here, why not? Let's see if we can't hook one up here in just a second. Hey, here we go. Alright, we hooked on. To, yeah, that's definitely a... Yep, here we go. We got a striper on. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 13 and a half pounds. You can see how beneficial these fish are. You can really get a lot out of them. Uh, that's why I recommend buying DLC to pretty much everybody uh, that asks me anything about the game. Uh, my first answer is, is buy the DLC. You'll be at such an advantage and you'll level up to where you'll... You'll get everything in the DLC that you need to get to the level where you can buy the stuff that you want to use a lot. But uh, with the DLC, it just makes that process so much smoother and so much easier to deal with. And we're going to see if we can't catch four fish, and uh, we'll call out for that. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, uh, Fishing Planet has now incorporated uh, competitions, which is actually really cool. Um, there's one getting hosted in about an hour. Unfortunately, I won't, uh, I won't be able to participate. Uh, I've got somewhere to drive to. Uh, i got to get on the road here soon. I just wanted to get this video up and show you guys the, uh, the new DLC and what I thought of it. Which, pretty much every DLC that's come out, I've been stupid in love with it. Uh, I, I absolutely love the DLCs that the Fish and Planet puts out. And I love that this game is, is a lot less play to put, yeah, pay to win, than uh, than most other games out there. You can really, as grindy as it can get sometimes, you can actually get to where you want to be uh, without, you know, without spending a, a shitload of money on DLCs. <coughs> but anyways, uh, competition mode is a, a new game feature that came out where you basically you can put in an entry fee and you'll have a time limit set to where uh, the person who catches the most fish in that time limit gets the reward. The reward might be, you know, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. Uh, the most I've seen so far is 7,000 uh, with some gold added to that. So it can be highly beneficial to you without a doubt. You're definitely going to want to check out the competition. It's another awesome feature. And uh, Fish and Planet, if any devs watch this video, we're, we're waiting on the boats, damn it. That's what we want. We want those damn kayaks. That's, that's what we want more than anything. Hey, here we go. Fish on. 
Heck yeah. Alright, this is our second fish on the, uh, the big boy setup. It looks like we got a jam good one too. This is the, uh, the hardest fighting striper I've had so far. Uh, I think it's a striper anyways. That was definitely the hardest uh, start off. Yep, definitely a striper. Fucking awesome, man. So we're going to catch... Uh, we caught two on this. We're going to go over to the uh, the lighter rig now and see if we're going to get 15.7 pounds. Hell yeah. So that is another good looking fish. That is another striped bass. Rock fish, baby. So, let's switch over to our uh, bass jig set up here. We're actually gonna swap that out. I don't want to be use. I don't want to use a mini bass jig out here. As much as I love catching tiny fish, because uh, you catch them really consistently. Uh, what's our max lure weight? Half ounce. Huh. Well, we'll go to the quarter ounce. That's not that big of a deal. We should still be able to catch some pretty good fish on it. I still have definitely a good amount of cast. You know, well over 100 feet. Uh, and this actually looks like a pretty fun rod. As, as cool as these, uh, you know, all these rods just look so fucking cool. Like, there's no other way to put it. All these new rods look absolutely awesome. The white paint scheme is really new to all this, so it, it just looks really good. There's, there's no getting around that for sure. We're gonna see if we can't snag a couple smallmouth. Uh, that's my fish of prey out here is the smallmouth. I uh, catch a, a pretty good bit of them over here. So we can see if we can't drag one out of the water here for Oh man! You guys see that? I just have one right there. <laughs> right there at the shore I have one go for it, man. Oh, that sucks. I see this rod being, uh... Really fun to use in like Colorado and Oregon fishing for the trout. It seems like a really, really apt trout rod uh, just because you can really finesse whatever you're working on the bottom there. Right? Hey, here we go. Latched on the one with the casting spoon. Oh, no. <laughs> this line. I think I got a striper on the line. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just hooked into a striper with this thing. So as you can see, this is definitely not the same kind of fight, and I'm hoping I, uh, I'm gonna run out of line here soon. He is dragging the hell out of it. Well, I'm just gonna have to sacrifice it. Ah, damn it! Okay, so we lost one there. Uh, clearly, this thing needs some heavier line because the fish was uh, going crazy. Oh man, it never swapped me from the three pound. That is one glitch I've seen happen quite a few times so far. Uh, I'll put a new line on and it won't switch the line. I guess that's just a, a glitch that's happening. I mean, you guys saw me switch the line earlier, so I know I'm not crazy. That sucks though, man. That would have been a... That was a, that was a small mouth. Uh, you think that I had a 10 pound line on there. Jeez, man, that sucks. We'll see if we can't get another one. Obviously, obviously somebody likes this bait, so hopefully another fish will go for it here soon. Hey, look what I was just saying. All right, now we can definitely turn the drag up and use this rod like we're supposed to. Yeah, I think we got a little smally on the line, man. Come here, buddy. God, I hooked you way out there. You did not hesitate to take this bait. Eat. Yep, a little small leaf. Awesome, man. Oh, no, wow, I thought that was a small mouth. It's a large mouth. Shows my knowledge. Alright, cool, so we got a large mouth. Alright, we're just going to get one more fish on this line, and we're going to wrap it up. Hopefully we'll be able to grab one soon. It won't take very long. Okay, just to try it out, I swapped over to this uh, one-inch craw. I'm kind of feeling like it'll work, but... Uh, I, I don't really know. I don't really mess with the jig heads too much in this game. I'm hoping it'll do something. We'll see. Hey, here we go. And we got one on the craw. Hell yeah. I was actually really, really hoping this fish, this uh, bait, excuse me, not this fish, I don't know, retarded. 
was really hoping this bait will work out. I don't know what we just grabbed here. It looks like a bluegill. Wow, man. You caught a bluegill on the craw. That's pretty cool. I just showed you the, the panfish abilities here. You can definitely catch these uh, smaller fish. It's pretty cool, man. I like that. So, that's going to be the end of the video today, guys. Uh, even though we finished it off with a bluegill, I would have liked to have finished it off with something bigger. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I put out videos of Fishing Planet uh, pretty regularly for the most part. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who has watched the uh, Fairy Trout video. The video just got over 25,000 views today. That's fucking crazy. And uh, the channel is almost at 300 subscribers, which is, is awesome. Uh, thank you everybody who subscribed or liked the video. And if you disliked it, tell me what you didn't like and I'll try and fix it. And for anybody who's curious, because I've been asked 9,000 times, I am chewing tobacco. That's what I'm doing uh, with the bottle. Uh, I've answered that question so many times and I'm just I'm tired of answering it. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the new DLC or about the game in general, just let me know and I'll do what I can to answer them. Uh, this has been the Sport Fishing DLC Pack. Uh, definitely get it and definitely get premium if you want to level up quicker. Uh, those are two very, very good things. I uh, hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm Shinooki. User you. joined your channel. Okay, so I totally just messed up. My old channel name was Shinooki. Uh, I'm Crew Dog Gamer. You guys have a great day.